Hey everyone, this is Rob Barnes. And I'm Tom Barnes. And today we're going to discuss the new Amp Pro. Basically, what player is it for and how does it compare to our other models and just its overall journey to becoming a product. Yeah, so the uh, predecessor to the Amp Pro Air was actually the 005. And the 005 came about because we're trying to find a good hybrid between a control air or previously the 003 and the power air we really wanted to try to get the best of both worlds then we went to the drawing board to create the 005 and what we really wanted again was basically that balance of power and control um, so we we spent a good amount of time to develop this when we launched we had mixed reviews we had people that loved it we had people that didn't really like the feel or the sweet spot and there was a lot of things and feedback we got from our labs members that we really appreciated that we basically took and implemented in the AMP Pro. And frankly, this was a major overhaul. Um, we changed the textures, we changed all the layup composites, uh, how we were doing that, uh, the weights, just we basically went in and um, tweaked a ton of things, got a ton more feedback through that iterative process and came out with the, uh, the AMP Pro. And, and we're really excited about this because this, this really takes the mantra of the Amped, which was the first thick core paddle ever made, the 16 millimeter, and brought really a balanced paddle to the market of control and power for the first time and, and, and takes that to the next level. Uh, basically with our FiberFlex Play Plus face, which is basically our own proprietary fiberglass layup system, uh, with adding our ProSpin Plus, which is the same tech that's used in our Lux Control Air and Vanguard Power Air. And, and bringing uh, this perfect blend of uh, balance, control, and power uh, with technology packed into the paddle to give you tons of spin and tons of maneuverability at a price point, uh, entry price point at 180, that's, that's pretty crazy for this, this kind of technology. And the main change from the 005 to the Pro Air uh, after getting the lab's feedback was we kind of tweaked the weight distribution, we changed the composite structure, doing a different fiberglass layup, overall different structural profile, and it really brought out the balanced features of this paddle. Compared to the, the original 005, with the changes we made, you're gonna get a bigger sweet spot. We were able to cut down on vibrations, which that was kind of some of the feedback was if you had a miss hit, you kind of would really feel it on the 005. And then we also went in and really improved the texture. We brought our best technology to the, that we brought to the forefront through our other models and applied it to this. Um, and we're able to keep our costs still within reason to bring this product to the market. And with that, you know, we're able to get our spins up to 2,100 RPMs on average. And then overall too, we were able to retain and add, frankly, a little bit more power while adding more control overall uh, to the paddle. So, so really it's basically taking everything that people liked about the 005, bringing it up a notch, and then all the issues that we, we saw, the minor issues we saw with the paddle, basically fixing those. So how this compares to the Lux overall, the Lux is our ultimate control paddle. This thing is built for control. This is the paddle that Jack entered the tour with and loved because of those control attributes. So basically how it compares to the new Amp Pro. The, the handles are a little different, so the shapes are a little different, the, the handle length's a little bit shorter on this one, um, more of a, the traditional head shape that was a little bit larger from the original gens. You have more power, so I would say definitely noticeably more power. A little less control because again, this is the ultimate control power. So you're gonna have a tad bit smaller sweet spot, but you're not really giving up a ton for the added power you're getting. So it really depends on your game. If, you, if you're playing with a control paddle and, and you just want that little bit more power and you're willing to give up a, a little bit of a sweet spot, a little bit of control, you really can't go wrong with the Amp Pro because from a spin technology standpoint, you're basically on par with each other. And at that point, it's just, what do you want to give up from a control aspect or a power aspect for your game? Vanguard Power Air. This was our first foray into a mass market, uh, edgeless open throat tech. We had, you know, still tons of our players use this on the tour. Very successful model. With the Power Air, you know, this thing is a power paddle. I mean, through and through. There come sacrifices. You're gonna sacrifice some control, especially in the soft game. And so what we really wanted to do was to offer something that had close to as much power, not as much, but close, and gave you a much bigger sweet spot and more control. So you could have that perfect balance of uh, control and power. So if, if you're playing with a power paddle, but you're just like, I need that little bit extra touch, that little bit extra control, you can't go wrong with the Amped Pro, especially for only 180 bucks.